So today what I want to teach you is how to make a flip class video using a very simple tool called QuickTime. So if you've got QuickTime installed on your computer, um, I'm just in my Macintosh. I'm just going to open up QuickTime. I'm just in the search bar up at the top, QuickTime Player. I click on it. Nothing really launches, but at QuickTime you've got some menu choices up here. And so the key one that we want to do right here is the File New Screen Recording. So I'm going to click on the New Screen Recording. And you've got this little dialog box, you can move it around. What I would recommend that you do is that you, you get your PowerPoint presentation ready. So here's the PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to talk about how to reach every student in every class every day. Down back here is the QuickTime player. Now I'll put it on top. I'm simply going to push the record button. So as I push the record button, um, some things can happen. So watch what happens. I'm going to click record. And it says click to record the full screen, drag to return part of the screen. I want to do the full screen. So watch what happens. I'm going to click the full screen, and I'm going to quickly move to full screen on my PowerPoint. So it's in full screen mode. I'm going to click in my PowerPoint, and now it's going to record the full screen. So now we've got the full screen. I'm going to talk through the PowerPoint. Hey, you want to read a couple great books? Flip Your Classroom and Flip Learning were written by me and also Aaron Sams. I'm now pushing the arrow button between them. I can actually do some online polls. We'll not worry about that right now. I can say hi, and I am a teacher. I'm just walking through my PowerPoint one step at a time. Talk about the technology throughout my career when I first started teaching. I had all I had was a chalkboard, and then I moved, and I got an overhead projector, and then eventually I moved and had PowerPoints. But I was still the center of attention, and I believe we need to rethink what school looks like. We're in this crazy period of change in education. All right, let's say I'm done with my presentation. I'm going to press escape. There's sort of a time lag here because all this stuff is being recorded. I go back down to QuickTime here. And actually, I'm going to push the control button with my finger, and I get the option stop screen record. Control click on QuickTime, stop screen recording. There, my friends, is the video. So if you will look here, so, so it's in full screen, screen mode, I'm going to click in my PowerPoint, PowerPoint and now it's going to record the full screen. screen. So, so now, now we've got, got the full screen, screen. I'm going to talk through the PowerPoint. Hey, you want to read a couple great books? Slip your clock. Being recorded. There you go. There's the video. Now it's not done yet. Now I'm going to do a new file, and I'm going to save the file. I'm going to say this is a test QuickTime video. If you don't want to save it someplace, I'm going to save it on my desktop. You could save it lots of places, maybe a document folder. I click Save. It's going to process it. The video is now saved. Now, that video still needs to be uploaded somewhere. It's living on my desktop. Here on my desktop, here is the video, Test QuickTime, and there it is. Now I can upload that video to a variety of places. I can upload it to places like Schoology, places like YouTube, etc., etc. But the video is now ready for consumption. Now that was easy. How to make flipped class videos using QuickTime.